Okay, so you have a 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar or without touch bar, or you have a MacBook Air 2018 going on forward, or you have a 15 inch MacBook Pro and you're tired of all the cables that we have here, right? And you ask yourself, what dongles do you need when you come from an ecosystem that has Ethernet and has USB? What do you really need? Well, um, these machines have four USB, in the case of MacBook Pro, they have four, four USB-C and uh, Thunderbolt 3 connections, so you can get adapters for everything you need. Just keep in mind that one connection uh, is blocked by you charging. Uh, let me just talk to you in general what you may need. So one of the most common sense um, adapters would be this one here. Um, USB, the regular size USB on one side and then the USB-C on the other side. This is just an adapter. You could get a cable that has USB-C on one end and uh, regular USB on the other side. That's also a good idea. Eliminates it. But you most likely already have USB cables and coming into this ecosystem you just want an adapter. Um, there is something that I recommend, it is the HDMI adapter um, and in this case I'm going to put the link below. It's by Ugreen, it works very well. You want one that goes 4K because many monitors are 4K uh, at 60 Hertz. That's very important. So that's usually uh, HDMI 2.0. So USB-C here and this is where the uh, HDMI goes in there. Let's see if we can get a better look. Here we go, right? Um, Ethernet, well, these computers do not have Ethernet anymore. So we need an Ethernet to USB-C adapter, right? So we got those are the three essential dongles. So that's quite a good amount of dongles. Um, you have four, one is charging and then you have in the worst case scenario four dongles hanging off of this. There are um, there are splitters that have all of these combined in one and are not that large. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Um, I have one at the office and that works very, very well. It has Ethernet, re regular USB ports, a couple of USB-C ports, um, that's HDMI and so forth. That might be a good alternative if you want to spend a little bit more. If you really want to spend a little bit more and want maximum flexibility, that's something called the Cal Digit uh, Thunderbolt 3 dock. And I did a separate review on that, but just really briefly, this is a dock that charges your MacBook Pro with just one cable and has all these connections in the back, USB-C, Thunderbolt out, uh, Ethernet, um, U regular USB, it has even connections in the front, it has got an SD card reader built in and uh, headphone out and has um, another use, so a USB-C and a regular USB here uh, for $300. That's quite extreme, but if you have a lot of connections, a lot of devices like me that you need to connect on a regular basis, that might be worth it and has 85 watts of power. So that's what a 15-inch MacBook Pro needs. This one, uh, the 13-inch MacBook Pro only needs 60 watts of power. But if you're at the Apple Store and you need to pick up something uh, right away, I would try to get the HDMI cable and I would try to get uh, the USB uh, connection, right? That's about it. I hope this is somewhat helpful and not too confusing. You can hit me up. Um, luckily on Amazon, there's tons of links that give you that at much cheaper prices um, and, um, you know, you, you're not gonna overpay, so don't worry if you got one of these new MacBook Pros. Apple needed to do this in order to remain really flat. The bigger connectors, they are just too thick. They're thicker than the entire laptop. So this is, they're not, they didn't do this to screw you. Uh, they actually did it because people want thinner and lighter laptop. Because in the day and age of smartphones, if somebody has like a super thin and light Mac, Book Pro, a MacBook that's tiny. People still go, Oh my god, it's so heavy! It's so heavy. This is a headphone connector. Look at this, it's as thick as the entire computer. But we are so spoiled, anyways. Uh, tech reviews out. Thanks so much.